In this video, we will study about another smart pointers called weak pointers. So a weak pointer holds a non-owning reference to an object that is managed by a share pointer. So we saw that if we have one object and we have one share pointer and then another share pointer. So currently reference count is two because two share pointers are pointing to this resource. But if we have another weak pointer pointing to the same resource, then still its reference count will remain 2. So this weak pointer has role, no role uh, in the reference counting mechanism. So it's created as a copy of shared pointer and it provides access to an object that is owned by one or more shared pointers. So this weak pointer is not owning this resource. This is just, this just have some access to this, but it does not participate in the reference counting. So still the destruction or the memory management of this object is based on the reference count. And this does not participate at all in that reference counting business. So how can we use weak pointer in our code? So first we need to check the validity of the underlying object using the expired function. So uh, expired function is equivalent to use count. So use count as we remember returns the no uh, reference count of the underlying object. So this is equivalent to checking uh, if the reference count is zero or not. So it, it's a boolean function and it will return true and false depending on whether the underlying object is valid or not. So we should first check for the validity of object using expired function or there is another way. This lock function either returns the underlying a shared pointer pointing to the underlying resource or if the object is invalid then it will just return whatever is the value of expired. So uh, like we can either check if uh, weak pointer one dot expired, not expired, then uh, do whatever we want to do. Or there is another way if then do the same thing. So this lock will either return a shared pointer if the object is valid or it, or it will return a false. That is an empty shared pointer. So this lock function creates a new shared pointer that shares the ownership of the managed object. If there is no managed object, then the return shared pointer is also empty. So effectively, this expired function this log function is equivalent to either expired. So if expired, then return an empty shared pointer. If not expired, that is object is valid. Then return a valid shared pointer. Now there is a, is a main problem with shared pointers. That is cyclic reference. So suppose we have a class A and it has a shared pointer of that same class adjacent. So uh, we create one shared pointer sp1 new a and another shared pointer of the same type now both are adjacent to each other like we have we see in the graph problem like two nodes may be adjacent to each other in an undirected graph or or maybe in a directed graph also if there is an edge from a to b and b to a then both are adjacent to each other then we set sp1 set adjacent and we pass sp2 and similarly 
sp2 set adjacent and pass sp1 so what this set adjacent function does is let's say it just simply assign adjacent equal to whatever value we pass here so now what will happen we have two objects of type a a1 let's say and this is a2 so we have created two new objects and sp1 is owning this resource and sp2 is owning this resource and inside this object there is this adjacent shared pointer so there is one shared pointer inside this object that is referring to here a2 and there is one shared pointer inside this a2 object which is referring to here so there is a cyclic uh, dependency so a1 is holding a reference of a2 and a2 is also holding a reference of a1 so uh, this will uh, never be uh, the memory will never be freed and we will face some memory leak issue so we will violate the sole uh, goal that was for creating these smart pointers was to uh, handle the memory well and here we will face memory leak issues with this cyclic reference so if we just replace this shared pointer with a weak pointer then such cyclic dependency will not happen so this link will be broken this will be a weak pointer so this will be let's say we denote weak pointer by a dotted line so there will not be any cycle and there will not be any memory leak so let's see all of these concepts in the running code in xcode now this is our structure a and it has one shared pointer of the same type called adjacent and we have added the constructor and destructors for it to see when this object is constructed and destructed and this is just one method inside this uh, structure to just print something and then we have this set adjacent method which takes as argument one shared pointer and assigns it to the member uh, shared pointer adjacent so now uh, let's write some code so let's create one shared pointer of type uh, the same structure a and name it sp1 new a and let's create another one now we set the adjacent of sp1 to sp2 and the same thing for sp2 we set the adjacent as sp1 now there is a cyclic dependency now let's first uh, print the reference count of sp1 and sp2 so we use this use count function to check how many references to some underlying object is there so here it's 2 because sp1 is pointing to uh, one object and this sp2 adjacent is also pointing to this same object sp1 the object uh, that sp1 is pointing to the adjacent of sp2 is pointing to same object and and vice versa so both have reference count of 2 now in order to prove our point that weak pointers do not increase uh, the reference count let's create one weak pointer now 
wp1 and we assign sp1 now again the reference count is still 2 but if we just replace this weak pointer with shared pointer now this sp1 reference count will be 3 so here it has become 3 because shared pointers will increase the reference count so now let's get back to the same thing weak pointer and uh, we cannot directly use this uh, weak pointer like uh, we want to access the function print a so so print a function was defined in this class so we cannot directly access it so it will give compilation error so we need to use the log function here so this, this log function will return a shared pointer and then it's valid to call then we can call this print a function uh, and here uh, one thing you see is that the constructors are called twice because we are creating two objects but the destructors are not called due to this cyclic dependency thing because we have shared pointer here and there is a strong reference to uh, the other object so we created two objects and this first object adjacent is holding a strong, ref a strong reference to second object and vice versa so this is never destroyed so now let's see how can we break this cyclic dependency so we use weak pointer here instead of a strong pointer now we just run the same code and we see that constructor is called twice then uh, we call this uh, print function so this printed it and this now the reference counts are one just sp1 and sp2 are pointing to these two objects and inside sp this uh, this object there is one weak pointer also pointing to sp2 and from here a weak pointer is pointing to this but those do not increase the reference count so we get one as the reference count for both of these and then finally the destructors are also called so we have broken down the cyclic reference problem so i hope uh, you understood uh, what are weak pointers and how are these different from shared pointers so if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel for my future videos.